most kiteboarders that make the trek south to Mexico often hit up the usual hot spots like La Ventana or Playa del Carmen, but the best sessions often happen off the beaten path. And so today we're gonna to talk about one of those diamonds in the rough here in the Yucatan, Progreso, Mexico. My name is Crystal Vaness. Welcome to Destinations. Quiet beaches, steady breeze, true local vibes, and plenty to do when the wind isn't blowing. In Progreso, you will find a more authentic side of Mexico. So I'll be honest, I have never heard of Progreso until I started planning this kite trip. And this spot is a total diamond in the rough. So I'm going to tell you a bit more about this kite spot, what to know before you go, the season, conditions, everything you need to know to plan your trip here to Progreso. So when's the best time to come and why you should come to Progreso? The best seasons here are basically all year round, so the wind blows from November to August. Um, the winter season is about November to February, and then the spring to summer season is March to August. This is an amazing kite beach for any level, and especially for beginners, so what's awesome about this spot is the water depth is like knee to waist high for about 80 meters out, so it's the perfect place to learn how to kite. And when the wind is really cranking, you've got some waves that come in that you can jump off of, pop off of, and just have a little fun with your crew. This is a pretty warm spot, so it's summer most of the year in Mexico. When I say winter, this is winter. Uh, but it is warm. You should bring a wetsuit because the water does get cold when it's extra windy. Be prepared when you come to this spot. Bring several kites. In the time that we've been here, we've rode and ridden anything from like 15 meter kites to six meter kites. We had howling winds when a north front came in. Early morning session, it was blowing all night long. It was hard to sleep and it was hard to wake up. But it was an amazing session and we were all boosting huge. But we were wearing wetsuits, so bring a wetsuit just in case. Um, whereas the day before that, we were all kiting in our bikinis and board shorts on a chill, freestyle friendly day with everyone out having an amazing time. And the best thing about this spot, in my opinion, is that everyone here is local or they are part of the family, whether they arrived yesterday or six months ago. This is a place where the community is very strong. The beach is small, but the spot is huge. Uh, everyone starts together and rides together. It's pretty sweet. So we rode out of the kite school U-Kite, which is a North Kiteboarding school right on the beach and it is awesome. Whether you're a kiteboarder or whether you're a friend or family member of a kiteboarder, there's hammocks, showers, a cafe, drinks, chill place to hang out, great tunes, great vibes. Like it's an awesome spot to ride. I don't think I've been to a kite school on the beach before that had quite the, the atmosphere that I've experienced here and I really recommend coming here. If you want more details on the kite spot, we have a very clearly written and descriptive guide to kiteboarding here in Progresso, uh, and you can check out the link in the description of this video. So how to get here and where to stay? You have two airports that you can fly into to get to Progresso, and the first is Merida, which is 45 minutes from the spot, and the next one is Cancun, which is about four hours. Uh, if you want more time on the ground, fly into Merida. If you want to save a few dollars, you might be able to fly into Cancun and rent a car and drive over, or take the bus. While you're here, the best way to get around would be a rental car, so I recommend that. If you're not really up for driving internationally, take a taxi from the airport and you can take Ubers all around Progresso while you're here. Now you have a ton of options for places to stay here in Progresso and in Merida. Like, there are hostels in Merida starting at about $6 US a night, but you're a bit far from the spot. So if you don't want to commute, you can stay in a hotel on the beach for 30 or 40 US dollars a night. Or if you're traveling with your family or a group of friends, you can rent a beachfront villa for like a couple hundred US dollars a night tops. So you can get beautiful spots for very cheap here. This place is, like I said, a hidden gem, very undiscovered, very affordable. What else to do in Progresso? This is an amazing spot to bring people that aren't kiteboarders or to enjoy some no wind days. So the Yucatan is famous for the cenotes, which are sinkholes in the jungle. So you can go snorkeling, swimming, scuba diving in holes in the jungle. They're super gorgeous. If you want to learn a bit about the ancient civilization, the Mayan culture that started in this area, you'll definitely want to check out some ruins. So there's like the famous Chichen Itza, which everyone has heard about. But here, somewhere between Progreso and Merida is a place called Gibraltar, which we visited, which is a really cool way to start off our trip and learn a bit about the background of this place. 
And of course, there's all the standard beach activities that you would expect to find in Mexico. There's kayaking, supping, sailing, fishing, sitting in a hammock on the beach, um, horseback riding, basically anything you could think of that you would want in a beach holiday, you can find here. So Progreso is not a place that you're going to find all-inclusive resorts. This is not that sort of beach town. This is definitely more low-key, local, quiet. There isn't a major party scene. You have to go to Merida for that. But this is a place to go to create your own adventure. It's, um, it's not too hard to get to. It's not hard to be here. But it's not like a packaged holiday that you might find in a resort town. But this is a place that you can go and just make the trip whatever you want to make of it. I think what's ideal about this spot is it's the ideal blend of a great kite spot, culture, local, and family friendly, fun. It's got everything you could want in a beach holiday without really feeling like you just went on a vacation. Like this is not a vacation so much as it is an adventure, a kiteboarding adventure. Now if you want to see all of our recommendations, all the places we went to, everything we tried, we have written it all down in a spot guide and travel guide in the description of this video. You will find both links. Progreso, Mexico is a spot I will definitely be back to visit very soon. So if you're planning your trip here and have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us on social media or in the comments of this video. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Destinations. We will see you next week.